Hey there, I want to show you a tutorial on how to do IK programming. As you can see, I have an IK system here, and I am able to move it around and solve uh, the IK. And of course, IK is basically inverse kinetics in where I'm specifying the end effector and having everything else to follow the particular, um, to set the angles for the rest of the joints by simply ch changing the position of the effector location. So the entire thing works like this. I basically have a bunch of chains and the root, and you have the effector at the top. And basically, we're going to take the effector position and snap it to the target, and then find the line between these two locations, and then work backwards to set the correct length so the joints have keep its original length and just do the same thing over and over again. And then that's going to be the first stage. And then the second stage is seeing how the root position has now changed to an offset. We have to snap it back and then going backwards, keeping this move everything backwards and backwards. And really that's how it is. And so the overall process is like this. You just snap it over. Okay, so the actual code to implement this, it's extremely simple, and, and I'm very ashamed that it took so long for me to figure this out. And so, uh, this is it. This is the entire function, and it's very simple uh, to follow. And I'll have this available on my website, so you can go ahead and uh, copy it appropriately. Now, a bone is simply defined as this. Again, I'll have the source code available, but the only point of interest that we're interested in here is the solve, the solve IK method. It takes the pointer to the current effector ID. So if you have a, a bone of, if, if you have eight bones and you want to make the last one be the effector, um, you would just apply number seven because eight minus one. Four, seven, and then the number of chains to go backwards to the root. So if you want three, it'll go seven, six, and five will be the root position. Or if you specify zero, everything, it will go from the effector position of eight or seven all the way to zero. And so the target that you want the IK to reach and the actual skeleton that contains the entire bone selection. And so what's going to happen first is for us to get the original distances between each bone and save it. And then we'll save a pointer to the root and the effector position. And then we'll have the first stage of where we're going to have the effector position snap to the location of the target that we want to reach. And then we get each current bone and its parent bone, which is the bone right below it. And then subtracting and getting the line between um, the parent to the current bone, normalizing that vector, and then using the original distance between the two to set the parent's original position. And then finally, we do the same thing, just going backwards now from the root to the effector so that the root position keeps its original position while trying to orientate the effector to still try to reach the target. And then the last stage is to position all the children so that they are moved in accordance to the new effector position. And that's really it. So let me play this again and here we go. I Right now I just have the effector to be at this point, I can change it by going and specifying first of all, I have to see how many bones I have I have 10 bones So if I go 9, 
and let's say 8. As you can see, everything has been solved. So join me at uh, solidusco.com and we will, and you can see the actual code listing to implement this. Thank you as always. Please rate this video and remember to comment and subscribe.